Now, Ofsted has been branded toxic and not fit for purpose by an inquiry which claims that it has lost the trust of the teaching profession. The Beyond Ofsted inquiry, it's almost like they knew what they wanted to find out, isn't it? By calling it that, say that it's, uh, the organisation has created a culture of fear within our schools and is now in urgent need of reform. Well, absolutely fascinatingly, uh, this organisation that uh, started this uh, inquiry, Beyond Ofsted inquiry, is um, funded by, you'll never guess who, the National Education Union, the most left-wing militant trade union in the country, which, what a surprise, represents an awful lot of teachers who don't want their own homework marked. Well, joining me right now to discuss all this is former teacher Baz Ramaya. Good morning to you, Baz. Morning, Julia. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for joining us. I mean, I have to say, I mean, this is basically like asking you to mark your own homework, basically saying, look, teachers don't really want to be told that they're not up to scratch and the school isn't very good and kids aren't learning enough and they're unhappy and they're, 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 they're facing bullying or, or, or anything else. What they want is they're saying, it's all a bit stressful to be told when we're rubbish. We would like to decide things for ourselves. We want to mark our homework. I mean, there's a reason why we have an Ofsted inspector. It's because we can't trust teachers and head teachers to mark their own homework. Well, I think we can all agree that we want all of our young people to have a great education, Julia. And I think in the spirit of that, we do need to talk seriously about Ofsted reform. And that's for two reasons, Julia. I think one, when we look at the research evidence, there's actually a very weak relationship between Ofsted judgments and the actual quality of teaching in schools, particularly when we look at outcomes and things like exams. And secondly, the trust issue is important, Julia. The Ofsted has lost the trust of the teaching profession and head teachers, but also the trust of parents. And institutions can't function when they lack that trust. So well, okay, but I mean, look, we, had the, we had the death of a head teacher, and apparently there has been other instances. A uh, uh, head teacher, Ruth Perry, she she uh, died in January. It was believed that she took her own life because she knew that a negative Ofsted report was going to be published, downgrading her primary school in Reading from its highest rating to the lowest over safeguarding concerns. And we also know there are problems with inspections which used to take a, quite a long time and are now sort of spot inspections very quick um basically a lot of it is a tick box exercise and and they're basically sort of going oh no but you, you know you didn't you didn't have this particular document on anti-bullying policy therefore your Ofsted rating is is ruined and they're not they're not really judging for respect well judging schools on the stuff that parents really care about is can are kids coming in unable to read, write, and, and do and add up? And are they coming out being able to do those things to a high standard? That's pretty much what we're looking for, and not being all miserable the whole time. I mean, it's not much to ask, is it? But because a head teacher or a few head teachers are under too much stress, that's not a reason to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I think there is some reason to be concerned here because, as I've discussed with you many times, Julia, we do have a serious recruitment and retention problem in this country when it comes to teachers and head teachers. This has been the worst year on record for teachers leaving the profession. I'm not for surprised. Reasons other Who'd than retirement. Who would want to be and a teacher with a whole bunch of kids who won't say, do Julia, what they're told? The why they say they want to leave. And a bunch of lunatics insisting on treating teaching kids trans ideology instead of instead of you know correct grammar. I mean, who? No one sane would go say into teaching Julia. now. No one sane. When we look at reasons why teachers say they're leaving the profession, Julia, one of the things that comes up very frequently is the high level of workload related to an accountability system that's introduced yeah. by Ofsted. Tick so, box, if tick we want to have a very exercise. muscular system like Ofsted, then we also need to answer the question of how we keep teachers in the profession, because otherwise, we're simply not going to have enough teachers in our classrooms mm -hmm. to give our young people an education. Okay. So, that's a policy problem we need to square if we want Ofsted to be. But in again, this we've form. heard this, haven't we? From that's education why we think ministers, some kind of reform is likely necessary. Education ministers said this for years. We need to stop having everyone just like filling out forms. A teacher, I, mean, I remember this even in my daughter's nursery, anyone having to spend time writing out a form what they'd spend time doing with my child. I'd rather you just spend more time doing that with my child. I'll know whether she's played with the sandpit because she'll be covered in sand. I'll know whether she's, you know, learned how to, you know, read or something because she'll be able to read. You know, this stuff shouldn't be, shouldn't be done like that. But again, that's a, that's a formatting issue rather than the principle of Teachers and schools cannot mark their own homework. We know this because when in 2020 they were told, oh, well, we can't have any exams, you'll have to decide how children should, what, what schools are getting exams, most schools completely over the level at which their children, were, the pupils were going to get to. They lied about it. They, they, I mean, we know they're not trustworthy. 
I think I want to be really clear here, Julia, that the two reports that have come out in the last 24 hours commenting on reform for Ofsted, neither of these reports, including the Beyond Ofsted report, neither of them are calling for the abolition of Ofsted. What they're calling for is reform to Ofsted to give it a new role that is focused on inspecting schools to understand what's wrong with them, but then giving those schools the support that they need in order to make the reforms required to make sure young people in those schools can get a great education. I think it's really important here to see some kind of reform here as just being part of a normal everyday conversation of how we can make our public sector more effective. But, but sometimes some schools, some teachers do need to kick up the backside to say, you're no good at what you claim you're good at. You shouldn't be in schools. I mean, I would ask for, we need to have more sackings of teachers because it's virtually impossible to get rid of a bad teacher. And every single person watching, listening to this right now will have had that one or at least one terrible teacher. Good experience to know who the good teachers are. Can't get rid of them, can't fire them, can't, you just have to hand them on to another school. You know that's what happens. I think it's harder to recruit good teachers if they know they're going to have to work alongside rubbish teachers. I think when we look at the reasons why prospective teachers don't want to join the teaching workforce, uh, pay, as we've discussed before, is one of the reasons that comes up. But another major reason that comes up is awareness of this intense amount of workload that, precisely as you were saying, Julia, describing the paperwork element, is linked to the accountability system that Ofsted is part of. Now, my experience as a teacher and spending my life speaking to teachers at the Centre for Education and Youth, what we do find is that teachers want to give young people a great education. They have a strong yeah, sense yeah. of professionalism and really want young people to excel. So they want the right support to be able to do that and currently the system of offset is not providing okay. that which is why these reports are calling okay. for reform yeah. they're not independent reports improvement. these are very biased reports and the other day I, I get not everybody wants to give children a great education they i'm, I'm sorry they just don't because you can see that otherwise they did all of our children will be getting a great education that's my thank you for that